Hi students, I am Pawan, your science master. Today I would like to speak to sixth standard students. Students, we have been discussing about second chapter playing with magnets. I think this will be the final lecture of the chapter. Students, let us recollect the points that what we talked in the previous class. We have talked about finding the directions with a bar magnet, magnetic compass, attraction and repulsion between two magnets and like and unlike poles. These were the points that we talked in the previous class. Today's learning objectives are magnetic induction, keywords of the chapter, and improve your learning section of the chapter that includes the list of the questions. First of all, let us understand what is magnetic induction. To understand what is magnetic induction, we have to follow an activity. Students, can you observe the image displayed on the screen? What can you observe? A bar magnet held by someone and a safety pin and a small all pin. Did you ever play like this? I hope you played using magnet like this for several times. Students, here you can see safety pin is attracted by the bar magnet. The safety pin is directly connected to the bar magnet, but all pin is not connected directly to the bar magnet. Even though the all pin is still being attracted by the magnet. Let us understand what might be the reason for this. Do you know if the safety pin is not in contact with the bar magnet, can it attract the all pin? What happens if we place the bar magnet very close to the safety pin but not touching it? Let us understand answers for these questions by following the activity. Let us know the aim of this activity is to understand the induction property of magnet. The procedure to be followed to do this activity is bring the safety pin close to one pole of the bar magnet. Now bring the magnet and the safety pin 
close to an all pin as shown on the screen. Now, slowly remove the connection between the magnet and the safety pin as shown on the screen and observe. Can you see the connection between the bar magnet and the safety pin here? The connection is disconnected between the magnet and safety pin. Even though the all pin is still connected with the safety pin. Your observations are as follows. In first case, you will observe that the safety pin is attracted by the magnet, but though the safety pin is not a magnet, the all pin is attracted by the safety pin. In second case, you will observe that though the safety pin is disconnected with the magnet, the all pin is still connected with the safety pin. What might be the reason? What will you learn out of this experiment? You will learn and understand that the magnet induces or influences its attracting nature into the safety pin. So that safety pin acts as a magnet and the all pin is still being attracted by the safety pin. Students, I hope you understood what is magnetic induction. Induction is the process of inducing its nature into another object. Magnetic induction means the magnet induces its attracting nature into safety pin. Here is safety pin. In the place of safety pin you can put any magnetic material. You can take nail, you can take any other metal object which is a magnetic material. So magnet is influencing the safety pin here to attract other objects around it. This is nothing but magnetic induction. The key words of this chapter, you please repeat after me. Magnet, magnetic material, non magnetic material, north pole and south pole, magnetic compass, like poles, unlike poles, attraction, repulsion. and magnetic induction. Students, please learn these keywords and recite these words. You read the words loudly to listen yourself. Now, let us see the summary of the chapter. Students, as of now, 
we have completed five lectures now we are in fifth lecture and the links of lecture 1 2 3 4 4 will be given in the description box right below this video you can click on those links and you can watch the videos and you will get the connection between the lecture to lecture and you will understand the whole chapter the assignment on today's lecture is observe the above image and write the north and south poles of the second magnet here on the screen you can see two magnets one magnet is with north and south poles and one magnet is without north and south poles mentioned there you please mention the north and south poles of the second magnet students i hope you understood all the lectures and do the assignments in time and submit your assignments and you can see the list of the questions in the page number 20 under improve your learning section you go through the questions you try to find answers for those questions students this is for today thank you for listening thank you one and all